In our previous videos, we have discussed rotational symmetry of a circle, of a rhombus, and of a parallelogram. The video links to those tutorials you can find in the description box below. In this video tutorial, let's talk about rotational symmetry of an equilateral triangle. So if this is our equilateral triangle, A, equilateral triangle, A, B, C, then AB is equal to BC is equal to CA. Now, if we draw, draw the three medians, that is median from A, from B, and from C, it will look something like this. Now, if you're wondering that what is median, the median that is, if you take this median from vertex B, then this line segment, if it is a median, then it will bisect the opposite side into two equal halves. Similarly, if you draw the median from this vertex C, the, then this line segment will divide or bisect the opposite side that is AB into two equal halves. Same thing from uh, with the median drawn from that is drawn from this vertex A. Now, this intersects at, at this point that is called centroid. Centroid. And it is actually the midpoint of an equilateral triangle. Okay. Now, if we take only that portion of these three medians between the point of intersection and the vertices, that is this part and this part, this part and this part, and from this part to this part, and let's remove all the remaining parts. Something like this we are going to get. Now, you can clearly see that the angle between this median and this median is equal to 120 degree and same thing with every pair of two medians, right? Every pair of medians you are getting 120 degree. Now, what happens if you rotate this equilateral triangle by an angle of 120 degree, by an angle of 120 degree, then you get something like this, right? Where after rotation, this vertex A will come here, this vertex B will move here, and this vertex C will move here, right? You are rotating it by 120 degree, by 120 degree, right? So can you tell, tell me, are these two figures exactly the same? The answer is yes. Don't go on these vertices because you are only looking at the two triangles, that is the two triangular shapes. Tell me, are these two shapes exactly the same? Yes, these are exactly the same. So for the first time, you get a rotational symmetry at 120 degree, at an angle of rotation of 120 degree. At an angle of rotation of 120 degree, you are getting first rotational symmetry, right? Okay, now what we do is, we again rotate it by 120 degree. We again rotate it by 120 degree. So this time, what happens is this vertex C moves here. This vertex A will move here. And this vertex B will move here, moves here. That is, after rotation, these sides will change their position and so, does, so do these three vertices. Now tell me again, are these three, are, is this image exactly the same to the initial one? The answer is yes, it's exactly in, uh, same to the initial one. Now, this time since we have again moved by 120 degree, so tell me the total rotation from the initial position. When you move by 120 degree, you reached here, but if we again move by 120 degree, then the total rotation is how much? It's of 240 degree. It's 120 degree from here, but we always take the reference from the initial position, right? So the total rotation is of 240 degrees. This is the second angle of rotation when you are getting rotational symmetry of an equilateral triangle. What we do is we again move it by 120 degree, right? We again move it by 120 degree and this time the total rotation is of 360 degrees. And what happens this time is this, that is this vertex A, this one will reach here, this vertex B will reach here, and this vertex C will reach here because the sides change 
their positions because of the rotation that is of 120 degrees okay now tell me you have finally rotated by 360 degrees so the final figure is it exactly the same to the initial one the previous one the initial one the answer is yes if you look at these two figures you are getting ex you have got exactly the same figure that is by the rotation of 360 degrees you are again getting a rotational symmetry that is the third one and at 360 degrees doesn't matter what kind of figure it is what kind of shape it is or what kind of object it is 360 degrees mean means that it's a complete once complete whole rotation and therefore you will get rotation symmetry for sure for every object for every figure right now it means that you are getting rotation symmetry at 120 degree at 240 degrees and at 360 degrees therefore the order of rotational symmetry of an equilateral triangle is the order is 3. The order of rotational symmetry is 3 because we are getting 3 rotational, three times rotational symmetry at 120 degrees, at 240 degrees and 360 degrees. So this was about equilateral triangles. Now I want to talk about quickly about in these two figures we have an isosceles tri triangle. So this is isosceles And this is a scalene triangle. So in the case of isosceles triangle, we know that, let's name the vertices, let this be A, this be B and this be C. We know that these two sides will be equal. This side, I mean in this figure, these two sides are equal. Because in, in an isosceles triangle, two sides are equal to each other, but a third side is not equal, right? So, forget about any angle, okay? Like in this, uh, in the previous case, in the case of equilateral triangles, we saw that if we move by 120 degree, we were getting rotational symmetry and that was because all the three sides were equal to each other. But what about in this case? Imagine that if you rotate it and if you want to bring this AB as a base, Right, so what will happen? So this AB is here and imagine that it's a rough diagram, just imagine and then this, so this becomes B, this becomes A and this AC will come here, something like this. Right, and then this, so this is C and then you have this line segment that is BC will be here. Tell me, is there any symmetry? No, these two figures are not the same. Again, if you rotate it, something like you're not going to get the symmetry. At, and that is because all the three sides are not equal to each other. When are you going to get the symmetry? The answer is only at 360 degrees, that is one complete rotation. When you completely rotate it by 360 degrees, then you will get exactly this initial figure. And again repeating, the reason is it has only two sides equal to each other. The third side is not equal, right? So you can practice it on your paper and you can see that every time you move, you are getting a different image. In this case, this is a scaling triangle. In scaling triangle, triangle, all the three sides are not equal. I mean, none of the sides are is equal. So this is not equal. This is of some different measure. And this is of some different measure or length. So again, in this case also, the rotational symmetry will be only at the angle of rotation of 360 degrees. That is, when you completely rotate it by 360 degrees, at that time, you are going to get exactly the same figure that is rotational symmetry. The reason, all the three sides are of different length of measure, right? So, even in this case, you are getting 
rotation symmetry at 360 degrees and that is why that is what we have discussed that for any shape or any object you are going to get rotation symmetry at angle of rotation 360 degrees that is for sure that's why we are not very much interested in this 360 degree one but still what's the order of rotation symmetry for isosceles triangle the order is the order is one because we get rotation symmetry in the case of an isosceles triangle at an at the angle of 360 degrees and same thing is here you get rotational symmetry at 360 degrees only therefore rotation the order of rotation symmetry is one so in the case of equilateral triangle it was three it is three but in the case of isosceles it is one and in the case of scaling it's again one